In this video, I'm going to show you how to install UCSF Chimera. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my web browser, and I'm going to go to Google. And now I'm going to type in Chimera. Now this, of course, is not the Chimera we're looking for. Chimera is a term for a mythical monster consisting of the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a snake or a dragon. Not really what we're looking for. Uh, but we are looking for the Chimera program created by the University of California, San Francisco, UCSF Chimera. So we'll click on that. You can click directly on the download page. I'm going to click on the main page. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the left menu and click on download. I'm interested in the Mac version, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, it makes you accept, accept a user agreement, so I'll click on that. And then now it will ask me where I want to save the file. So I'm going to click Save. And at this point, we just need to wait for the file to download. All right, after the file is finished downloading, I can close that window, go to my Downloads folder, and click on the image that was downloaded. At this point here, we need to wait for the image to verify. All right, after the verification is complete, the new Chimera app should show up. Sometimes it's nice to show the toolbar. And then you can drag it directly to your applications. Hopefully you have your applications uh, in the dock and you can just drag the file over directly. It should come up with a copy. At this point I can close this window. Wait for the file to copy over. All right, after it's finished filing, we can now eject the installer. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing this. If you click on the Finder window, you can just click Eject. And that'll do it. Or you can also click on the installer here and then drag it to the trash and it'll actually show the eject symbol. Second, if you're confident that you don't need the installer anymore, it's always a good idea to kind of throw away the download that the image was downloaded on. So this has now disappeared and I should have the, the file that I downloaded in the trash. Furthermore, now the Chimera program should be found in our applications folder. So I'm going to click on Chimera. On some instances, it will say that it cannot open the file because it's not a valid uh, Apple approved software. I think in this case it will pass. So let's see what uh, what our computer says. Is the application done from the internet? Are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to say yes. In some cases it will not let you do that whatsoever. So let's pretend that did not work. I'm going to go to my applications folder. Sometimes it's easiest to click on the, the Apple logo. Click on applications. Find Chimera. In this case here, I'm going to right-click or hold down the control button. Right-click or hold down on the control button and left-click and then say open. And in this case, it will always let you open it, uh, even if the permissions are there. I highly recommend you register because uh, it does help them obtain more funding. This is a government-funded uh, project. So uh, Now you are ready to use the full Chimera window simply. Uh, if you want to open a new file, I would type fetch by ID. Type in the ID you're interested in. I'm going to do 2LYZ. It should download the file and display it. Some of the cool presets that will get you pretty quickly. Publication 3, Publication 4. So some of these look pretty cool. Uh, for our first assignment, that's really all you need to do. All right. I hope that helped you install UCSF Camera and create your first protein structure. So.